The tandem transistor circuit helps to increase the breakdown voltage. T1 transistor controls tandem connected T2 T4 transistors that share great voltage between T2 collector and output. Please use small base resistors that are small enough to ensure the full transistor output current. The similar circuit may apply to MOS transistors. However, in this case, you should connect reverse gate breakdown protective diodes, as shown in the picture. You should not worry about forward gate breakdown, as MOS transistors will be switched on well before the gate channel breakdown occurs. Note that biasing resistors yield some output current even if transistors are switched off. Therefore, ensure minimum ground load to prevent that output voltage increases higher than stabilized level. In many cases, you'd better connect small capacitors parallel to divider resistor to ensure high divider performance at high frequency. Capacitors should be of enough capacity to neutralize the difference in transistor input values. Otherwise, you'll face an even dividing and the decrease in the total breakdown voltage. Not only power supply units use tandem transistors. You can use them in high voltage amplifiers though it is not necessary, as there are high-voltage MOS transistors.